All right, guys, uh, we are going to do another flat earth proof. We are setting this up uh, for McToon to evaluate his crock crackpot theory. I'm going to show you some hills that are 55 kilometers from my current location. I am currently at 577 meters above sea level. If you're McToon, it's a sea curve. Um, and Avonlea, Saskatchewan, uh, which is 55 kilometers from here, I am going to point the camera at the hills that are beside Avonlea, Saskatchewan. And that elevation is 597 meters above sea curve. And uh, so, yeah, there's only a difference of 20 meters, which should be a difference of... I don't know what it should be, but it should be hundreds of feet of curvature, five or six hundred feet of curvature, give or take. And I'm going to show you uh, the the uh, area around here, which is a flat horizon everywhere on the southern part of Saskatchewan is visibly flat as you can see the horizon is flat from basically 360 degrees I cannot turn because I got a hill and an overpass beside me here uh, but yeah the horizon here in Saskatchewan is exactly what we call it the flat horizon it does not curve or bend anywhere around me set up the tripod here and we'll zoom in to the hills that are 55 kilometers away so we are going to point let's go this way a little bit so just to the right of those To the darkened area over there, just beyond the horizon, those are the hills that are 55 kilometers away in the distance there. The dark, it looks like a shadow area. I have trouble seeing them because of the overcast, uh, but those are the hills. Oops, sorry, gotta go down here. So I'm gonna get uh, McToon to explain uh, how, how I can see these hills that are 55 kilometers away. And they go from the left uh, to the right here. I think we can see them over here too, but it, like I said, it's overcast. Um, I may come out here tomorrow or uh, Saturday, but yeah, the best view of these hills are right here, which is 55 kilometers away, folks. You can look it up on your maps, southwest of Regina, and you can visibly see these hills. And as you travel, I'm going to point something else out here. So this is the Trans-Canada Highway over here, heading west towards Vancouver, uh, Calgary, Alberta area. And as you're traveling down this highway, uh, 
sorry for the interruptions with the trucks. Uh, as you're traveling west down this highway, you can see these hills that I'm pointing at with the camera. Uh, you can see them at ground level. You can see them as you're traveling west down the highway. All you have to do is look out your window and you can see the hills. So yeah, that darkened area is the hills 55 kilometers away. Um, they just, it's hard to see them right now because the haze. Uh, but I can confirm that those are them because I can see them with my actual two eyes right now. Uh, so yeah. This is how flat it is here in Saskatchewan. Um, I do not take fault for the flatness of Saskatchewan. Um, I am out here doing the proofs, unlike what McToon does or does not do. He says the opposite of the truth. Um, so yeah, there is my proof. I gave you the elevations above sea level. I am looking for proof of curvature. And everybody here in Saskatchewan who lives here knows that Saskatchewan the entire province is flat and it is flat until you drive all the way to Minnesota because I've driven there many times and I did not experience any curvature whatsoever thank you very much for your time and have an absolute wonderful day again these hills are 55 kilometers away Where's the curvature?